so we want to solve this equation for x and it's a radical equation so we need to isolate that radical um, so we have 2 equals square root of negative 16 minus 5x minus minus x so we want to add that x to both sides so we can get that radical by itself so now we have 2 plus x is equal to the square root of negative 16 minus 5x. To get rid of the radical, we square both sides. And that'll give us 4 plus 4x uh, plus x squared is equal to negative 16 minus 5x. Since we have a quadratic, we should set one side equal to zero. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides, and I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So I have 20 plus 9x plus x squared equals zero. I'm going to rewrite it so it's in the right order x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals 0. This is factorable. It's going to be x plus 4 times x plus 5 equals 0, giving us answers of negative 4 and negative 5. Well, since it's a, a radical equation, you have to check both answers. So over here, I'm going to do a little check. So let's check x equals negative 4. Oh. Let's try that again. We plug negative 4 back into the original equation. So 2 equals the square root of negative 16 minus 5 times negative 4 minus a negative 4. And we're going to simplify it. Now this is a question. We're, we're not sure if it equals or not. That's what we're trying to find out. So this is uh, the square root of negative 16 plus 20. And this is plus 4. The square root of negative 16 plus 20 is going to give us the square root of 4. And then we have the plus 4. Now that's 2 plus 4, which is 6. 6 does not equal 2. So negative 4 does not work. Let's see if negative 5 works. So x equals negative 5. Oops, I meant to do that in blue. Uh, so we're going to have 2 equal to the square root of negative 16 minus 5 times negative 5 minus a negative 5. Again, this is a question, does it equal? Do, do both sides equal? Well, this is going to be the square, 2 is going to be 2, and then the square root of negative 16 minus 5 times negative 5 would be negative 16 plus 25. And then subtracting a negative makes it a plus 5. Negative 16 plus 25 is 9, so we have the square root of 9 plus 5. That's equal to 3 plus 5, which is 8. And again, 8 does not equal 2. In this case, there is no solution. So um, it depends on the question, the problem that you're doing in my open math. But you might put something like does not exist, like there's no answer that, there's no x value that works. Or maybe there's a uh, selection of no solution.